All right, y'all. So Bitcoin, tons of volatility. Two days ago, we had this move to the downside. And then yesterday, we had this massive move to the upside, finishing the day off with this crazy candle right here, where we went up like 15% in just a matter of minutes so what in the world is going on and what can we expect coming into the weekend obviously there's a lot of volatility going on in the markets there's a lot of volatility going on in the world we're going to talk about it but first make sure to fomo into the jason casper like button this is the jclb index the jason casper like button index as you can see mega bullish guys make sure to fomo in right now i usually don't give trade setups on youtube but you can see right here a very good risk to reward ratio only risking this much to gain this much profit make sure to fomo in buy high and sell low with the jason casper like button gonna hit all new on blah, 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 blah. gonna hit all time highs soon guys so what happened with bitcoin well i want to start with two days ago because what happened over here was something that kind of took us by surprise we had come up to a key box of resistance we can see right here this green box if I just drag this out a little bit, it was acting as a major area of resistance. Why? Because it was the top of the old range that we had been trading back here in January. Bitcoin broke out of that range and then it fell back into the range and then got a back test of that important resistance. So we can see if even if we go back even farther here, this green box was acting as our support right over here, resistance right over here, resistance again flipped into support, resistance, and then resistance. So it actually made for a really nice short trade. If we come over into the VIP Discord, we can see I actually did give that exact trade setup in advance to the exact dollar. We were looking to take a short from there. The short played out beautifully, literally right from the level we were looking to short it. And uh, if we take a look over here, I was able to close out that scalp in what ended up being much more than a scalp it actually was in juicy juicy profits so by the way if anybody wants to get into the vip discord you can do so by going to patreon.com forward slash jason casper and then what happened was we dumped all the way down and we found very very nice support at a very crucial level this level was the bottom of this uh, range right here so we can see that we had the value area low of the range we came right to this box of support where we did have some other important levels and then we got a bounce from there and when we came down to that box of support we can see that we got bullish divergences on market cipher b on the four hour time frame giving us this very nice bounce to the upside and yesterday we were looking at that level as a very important support if we come back to the vip discord we can see that yesterday let's let's go back to yesterday this is today we need to go back to yesterday yesterday we were looking at this very important box of support and we can see that we were eyeing up this golden pocket down here at about 35.2 ish for a retest and a bounce to the upside and so also i did happen to take a long yesterday from that box of support and I accidentally closed out 100% of the trade, guys. I meant to take out partial profits at these resistances, but I was able to still make a juicy profit. So what is going to happen now? Because I think today is very important. We're coming up to a weekend, and the question is, are we going to pump or are we going to dump? Well, I want to start by taking a look at some higher time frames. If we take a look at the daily time frame right now, we can see that Market Cipher B is printing a green trigger wave. Now, usually when we get the green trigger wave, as we can see, it gives us a significant move to the upside. Every single time we get a green trigger wave on Market Cipher B, we get a significant move to the upside, sometimes more significant than other times. We go to the 12-hour time frame, and what do we see here? Bullish divergences. Bullish divergences on the 12-hour time frame. And not only do we have bullish divergences on the 12-hour time frame, but on these higher time frames, we have what I would consider to be uneven butt cheek pattern where we have a very big left butt cheek followed by a not so big right butt cheek if we go ahead and we just hide market cipher b for a second here we can see it looks like a butt that's uneven right we want actually to see that uneven butt cheek on market cipher b because it means that that is a bullish divergence where we have the juiciest butt cheek on the left followed by that skinny deflated cheek on the right so we've got the big one on the left the skinny one on the right that's pretty much exactly what we have right here on the 12 hour time frame this is making me think that we could come up higher but 
doesn't mean we should just follow into a long. What it means is we should look for a good entry, right? It means we should look for a good entry. So the way we do that is we go down to a lower time frame and we just assess the situation to see what is going on right here. We are actually currently trading in this uh, bull flag, okay? This bull flag right here. And let me actually turn on some local technical analysis. We are trading in a bull flag. We're actually above the local golden pocket resistance, which is actually kind of um, bullish. The next area of resistance we need to be aware of is up here we have this box between 39.9 and uh, 40.1 where we could potentially potentially find some resistance at resistance right there uh, we do need to be aware actually that we could reject right from this box uh, if we do get a, a big pump into there now here's the thing if this bull flag is in fact going to break out then we have a very very specific target that I myself personally am, am looking for. I have, I have a target that I am looking for. And that target is going to be um, the $42,000 level. And here's why. If we go now to a lower time frame and we put on some of these boxes that I have right here. Um, yes, this higher one. This box, okay, this box up here is so important and we need to be very aware of it as a resistance. If we can come above this box, I actually believe we can we can see higher Bitcoin prices even into potentially the the low to uh, mid fifty thousands. Okay, the reason why this box is so important is because if we just take a look at it and the way this level has been respected throughout the entire year of two thousand twenty one. We can see that it was resistance, 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 flipping to support, 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 support. Right now, not only is this level, that same level that's been support and resistance all year, but if we take our Fibonacci golden pocket from the high to the low, we can see that we have the macro golden pocket coming in right there as well. Okay, so this is a big area that we need to be aware of as we're coming up. If we can come back above this box, this is super significant for Bitcoin because it means that we have officially bottomed out, put in a higher high, right? And then put in a higher low and then most likely are going to put in a higher high, okay? Most likely. This is so significant because since November 11th, we have been in a downtrend, right? High, low, lower, high, lower, low, lower, high, lower, low, lower, high, lower, low, lower, high, lower, low. And then all of a sudden we get this higher high okay we very well may have now put in our first higher low where we can expect a macro market structure reversal to now continue in this relief rally which we have been in since this low area now i'm very excited about this because of the fact that i did take a long trade from thirty three thousand one hundred dollars and I didn't close it out even when we came all the way down here. I've been holding this trade. I'm really hoping that we can reverse market structure right here. Okay. That is what I'm hoping for. If that happens, then it's very possible that we do see Bitcoin come up to some of these levels. Number one, we need to be aware of these FIB levels. So I would say the $47,000 level is very important. The $51,000 level is extremely important because we can see just so clearly if we put a line on the chart here that this $51,000 level was very clear resistance, flip to support, support, resistance, resistance, and then resistance twice again. And then this macro golden pocket up here between $55,000 and $57,000, that is a super important level because if we look at the volume that traded for the entire year, we can see that the highest volume node, at least on the Bybit USD pair, is coming in right around that $57,000 level. So if we can come above this $57,000 level, then I think it's actually even possible that Bitcoin is going to see a higher high. Do I think it's likely? Honestly, no, I don't. I'm honestly looking for lower, but just objectively speaking, if we come above that level, then we can really start to entertain the fact that we did come down to bottom out perfectly lining up with this channel We've come above major areas of resistance. We've come above the 47,000 resistance, the 51,000 resistance. If we are now trading above this important area of resistance, then I see no reason why we can see all-time highs. 
okay so this is what is going on with the bitcoin price today y'all if you want to learn how to trade this way you can check out jasoncaspertrading.com guys this course will give you the knowledge and the skills you need to become a confident profitable trader what we do is we teach you how to systematize your trading so that you always have a plan in case price pumps or in case price dumps you never have to fomo around you never have to chase price again you can always have a plan know exactly what you are looking for it'll teach you how to feel confident in your trades how to stop trading with emotion how to utilize risk management so that you don't blow your account even if you're not winning every trade you can check out the success stories down here this is changing the way thousands of people approach the markets there's currently a 30 percent discount in the description of this video guys it's a super exciting time for bitcoin right now because we stand at the precipice of a new frontier where we don't know what's going to happen which is every single day also all right guys with that said i want to Say blessings to everybody in the name of Jesus the Messiah. I pray everybody is super blessed during these times in multiple ways. And I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.